All right, we are now joined by Rebecca Ruth, who's going to be making her Bellator debut here on February 26th at Bellator 150. Uh, that'll be live on Spike TV. Uh, Rebecca, welcome here to Punch to the Face. Oh, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Well, no worries at all. You are now a winner of three straight. Uh, you won a contract through uh, Shamrock FC to be a part of Bellator. And like I said, you're going to make your debut here on Bellator 150. You're going to actually be the opening bout on Spike TV. Um, you know, being the opening bout and you setting the tone for the main card, how important is that to uh, to get, you know, make sure the fans are familiar with who you are and make an impact with them? Oh, I want them to remember me. I want them to know who I who I am and uh, what I do and what I'm here for. You know, I'm, I'm here to fight. I'm here to to win. Uh, I love what I do. So, you know, I want to make sure that they know that you know, it's going to be definitely going to be a good show, and they're going to get a lot out of it. Well, absolutely. And typically in, in cards, women's MMA steals the show, and this fight actually has the potential to be a show stealer. Uh, you're going to be facing off against a Muay Thai and kickboxing champion in Lena. On Chinkova, hopefully I got that right. I've been practicing, so I think that's how you enunciate it. Um, now, yeah. with her being such a dangerous uh, kickboxer and Muay Thai person, uh, and we've seen your fights here for Shamrock FC, you know, you've had all of your wins have came via TKO stoppage of some sorts. Uh, should the fans expect a stand-up war, or are you ladies going to take it to the ground and just shock us all? I, you know, it's it's always hard to say. You, uh, you you train for what you what you can you know what you can watch and what you can study on the other person. And from what it sounds like is she's uh, she's been doing a lot of stand up here lately, but she's also had a lot of her wins um, via submission of some sort. So you know, there's there's really no telling where this fight could could go. Uh, definitely been been practicing and and training for for both for ground and stand up. So. You know, at, at this point, uh, your guess is as good as mine. It's, it, we're gonna we're gonna make it happen. I tell you what, I know for a fact it's gonna be a good show, regardless of if it goes to the ground or stays on our feet, though. Now, as I stated, you were able to uh, be a part of this Bellator card from winning a title fight with Shamrock FC as well as winning a, a contract with Bellator. You know, how has that actually changed your life in those months since winning that fight and, and being now part of the Bellator family? How has that changed things for you that to where it's, I know you're doing a lot more media now, so I mean, how has it, how's it changed yeah, yeah, what yeah, you're doing? Yeah, uh, It's given me more time to train. Um, I mean, I've have come across an opportunity with, you know, with what's going on and everything to to be able to train more um, and, and you know, work at a, another job, like a, a more steady job less. And uh, so this, this is definitely a big, this is going to have to be a big win for me. It's going to have to be a big show for me. Um, I'm, you know, making this my career. You know, I've got two little ones that mean the world to me, and this is something I've got to do for all of us. They've got to make this happen. Now, as you stated, you know you, you gotta you definitely want to go out and get a big win. Now, how important is it to have a impactful win? Because the flyweight division here for Bellator is literally wide open with uh, them reintroducing women's MMA uh, to the promotion here last year. You know how important is it not only to get the win, but to kind of try to separate yourself from the other flyweight fighters to say, hey, you know, I want to I want to shut at the title. Oh, this is huge. It's, it's a big difference because he is gonna. You know, they did get announced that they're wanting to crown a title, crown somebody by the end of this year. And uh, I want that to be me, obviously. So, yeah, to, be, to not only to go out there and get a win, but get to get a, a win in a, in a good fashion and, you know, something spectacular, something big, that's it's going to be huge. I, I'm definitely looking for something to impress, you know, and impress God and impress the people that need to be you know, I need to see it and uh, and get myself into that title shot for sure. Now, now, something I do want to go back on is, you know, like I said, you got the opportunity from winning there with Shamrock FC, and this is something done with other uh, fighters as well who've got an opportunity to fight on Bellator cards. You know, how important is it that a promotion like Shamrock FC has that tie-in with Bellator that can give fighters who are fighting on a regional promotion a platform and an opportunity to go fight for a bigger promotion by being successful for them, getting wins, and and getting more exposure. Um, it's been great. I mean, like I, I've, I've definitely given a lot of uh, credit and uh, props to Jesse Finney and and Ron Doniker and the guys there with Shamrock. Uh, I've had a lot of my fights 
with them, and they've always been, you know, a great organization to fight for. And when this came about, I, I couldn't have been more excited. Um, you know, it, it, I feel like I earned it. I earned my spot to, to get that opportunity. It wasn't given to me just because I fought with them for so long. Um, you know, with, with the way I've performed and, and produced, I, I think they definitely felt like it was a good, uh, a good fit for me. And, uh, you know, I have, I earned it. And I'm definitely excited that they were able to do that for me. Oh, absolutely. You've definitely earned it. I mean, with five wins, all of those coming via stoppage, there's no way that anyone can di deny that you haven't actually went out and literally beaten people up to get what you want to this point <laughs> in your career. So we got to respect that. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. That's true. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, as you said, you know, this is big for you because you have a family, you have, uh, you know, children who are depending on you. Now, as a parent and as a fighter, how is it, to, you know, trying to balance that family life Along with training and being, getting prepared for fights, how difficult is, is that, and how do you find that that even balance to help you get things both jobs done? Uh, you know, it is tough. It, it is a lot of sacrifice, and, and they know that, and they know that with the the sacrifices that I'm making and that they're making during my training camp, it's it's rewarded on the other end. You know, when when the fight's over, I'm able to do you know quite a bit with them because. You know, now that, that I'm training full time, I can, you know, I can take that time um, after the fights and spend a lot more time with them. I mean, I, I my social life, there, there pretty much isn't one. So it's between the gym and my kids and their sports and what they do, that is my life. But, you know, by, with saying that, it's definitely far, far cry from a complaint. I love it. I wouldn't have it any other way. Um you know, my kids are everything to me, and we do a lot together. So anytime we have a chance, I've got, actually, I've got five kids here with me right now. They've got a bunch of friends over, and they're all playing. So snowed in, couldn't be happier on days like today. Well, definitely. Well, definitely. Now, like I said, man, you're going to be a part here of Bellator 150 here live on Spike TV on February 26th. Uh, Rebecca, we appreciate you taking our time, but, you know, definitely give a shout out to the sponsors who are helping you get prepared here for your big debut on Spike TV for Bellator. Oh, uh, I've definitely got my gym, 21st Century Martial Arts out of Pacific Benny Boyle. Um, you know, wouldn't be anywhere near where I am right now without him and that gym and the family that I have there. I've got Finney's MMA. I've got uh, the Gamma Gamma Labs. I've got uh, Affliction. I've got uh, Venom has come through for me. MCS Midwest Diesel, a hometown uh, sponsor that is, you know, been friends with them for a long time and they've helped me out through a lot of times through this. So I've got, I've got a lot of good people behind me. My family, they, you know, it's just, it's, it's amazing. I appreciate each and every one of them. Well, absolutely. Let the fans know where they can follow you on social media as you make your rise here with the Bellator promotion. Yeah, on Twitter, it's Rebecca Ruth MMA. And same thing for Instagram. And then I've got Rebecca Ruth at uh, Facebook. So you can catch up with, with anything I've got going on and what my crazy life is, is like in the, in the times of uh, getting ready for a big fight. Well, hopefully the snow can melt so you can make your way over to Kansas here uh, for the big fight here on February 26th. The weather in the Midwest is supposed to break up between now and then. It's supposed to get nicer. So, uh, you know, definitely if you need cardio, go out and shovel snow. But I, <laughs> I know. We'll, we'll I've recommend been doing that. I've training around here, let me tell you. Uh, running out in the snow and the freezing cold temperatures, you know, it is what it is. I am not one for being cold at all, but sometimes you got to suck it up. Well, you've got a, like a regular Rocky montage going. If you're actually running out in the snow, I mean, that would make great yeah. footage for Bellator. Like, somebody needs to let them know that this is going on. They could have filmed that. It would have been great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the hills we have are killer. And, uh, it's, it's definitely uh, running out with face masks and, and uh, big coats. It's, it's, it's hideous. <laughs> I'm emailing Scott Coker now letting you know that they missed a golden opportunity for some just, that would have been TV go, but I'm letting Scott Coker know he missed out. Well, Rebecca, we appreciate you taking our time with us, and again, we'll see you live on Spike TV February 26th against Alina Ochenkova. I hope I got it right. Uh, the opening bout is part of uh, Bellator's uh, 150 card, uh, again, on Spike. So, again, like I said, thank you for taking our time with us. Oh, I appreciate every moment of it. Thank you. You're more than welcome.